Hello folks, this is Hidden Numismatist back at you with another installment of a coin video. Um, I recently completed an album that I've been working on for a very, very long time. Um, and those of you that know the United States trade dollar has a very, very intriguing history. Um, struck mainly to compete with the Orient in their trade dollars. Uh, because countries from the Orient didn't want to accept um, other United States coins because they didn't have as much silver as the ones that circulated in the Orient. So this United, these United States trade dollars were struck specifically to trade with the Orient. Um, so I want to show this set to you um, and you give me your thoughts on it. 1873 Philadelphia. 73 cc i'll show the backs on some of them too this one's really tight really beautiful 73 s love the original toning the dealer that i got that from um, states specifically that it is originally toned 1874 philly 1874 cc as you can see they're either philadelphia San Francisco, Carson City. Seventy four S. Eighteen seventy five. Seventy five CC. Hope these images are coming out clearly on these beautiful historical coins from our country. I'll show you the reverses. Love that. Hi, AU. Love these coins. This is probably, the United States trade dollar is probably my favorite silver dollar from our country. There's a CC. And, um, and like I said, the history behind these and why they were struck is just so cool. Another beautiful CC, Carson City out of Nevada. CC Mint no longer exists, unfortunately. Another beautiful CC. And there's that original toning one, the reverse of it. Okay, let's go to the second page, folks. This album is just two pages. I added a third page for obvious reasons, which I'll get to in a second here. But this is a stock album from Dansko, um, and it includes just two pages. Philadelphia, 76. Not a beautiful CC. 76S, another beautiful original coin. Some of these have been cleaned long ago. And as many of you know, to get an early, early coin like this from our country that has not been cleaned is damn near impossible. Because as we know, cleaning back in the day was acceptable. Uh, it wasn't until just just a few years back that uh, dealers and collectors were saying, nope, don't clean your coins, leave them alone. Again, this one was lightly cleaned long ago, 77S and a 78S. Okay, let's show the reverses of these beautiful ladies. Nice, beautiful, original CC. Love the CCs. Probably my favorite mint for obvious reasons. Of course, I love Charlotte and Dahlonega, which struck only gold. But of course, CC is... Phew. I see a CC that I need. It's a fair price. I can't say no to it. I'm very proud of myself to finish this set. they a beautiful CC. Right. As I said, my numismatic brothers and sisters, this is just the two albums. These are the two pages. This page and this page is how this com album comes. <clears throat> But there is a coin out there that is a key. 
It's a business strike. And Dansko doesn't have a port for it. And it is the 1878 CC, Carson City 78 CC. Um, and I wanna show you here, I'm gonna read it to you and then you can pause in my database, I put this. Jack Beamer, a very, very well-known uh, numismatist, has stated that he had handled more $1,794 than the 70 CC trade dollars. And of course, our numismatic brother, uh, David Hall, uh, he's like the John Smith of numismatics, just like John Smith's in economics. David Hall says that it's a, this, this coin, the 70 CC, is incre incredibly an underrated coin in all grades. Longtime coin dealer Jack Beamer, as I said, has handled many key dates coins, but he has handled more $70.94 than 78 CC trade dollars. That's an incredible statement and shows how truly rare this coin is in any grade. And they're absolutely correct. And of course here, um, I pulled this from the internet as well on what David Bauer says about the 78 CC. And if any of you want to, want this uh, write up, uh, just leave a message below um, and then I'll, I'll get it to you. Uh, but I put that also in there as a comment field. And as you can see, it's the, the mintages on these trade dollars, folks, is just, I mean, look at this. I mean, anything that's dark red is a, is a, is a key, is the key. Um, you know, and then the ones in yellow in my database are semi keys. And as you can see, only 97,000 of the 78 CC. Hello. Yep, and then the dealer that I bought that from said it's an XF. Okay, so I'm going to show it to you now. So here we go. As I said, this is a, just another third page that I bought for trade dollars uh, because, you know, I wanted to have the key in this dance scope. I'm going to eventually get this slabbed. This is a coin that needs to be slabbed, but I know it's authentic. I know it's real because the dealer that I bought this from on the East Coast, we've done business with each other for at least 20 long years. And... Uh, and he's a Jedi in numismatics and nobody can argue with him. So I bought this from him. And I said to myself, I said, self, when you get the 78 CC, you can say this set is done. And you know what? This set is done. Now, if it's an upgrade and I'm able to flip the one that's in this album uh, and make money and buy a higher grade, of course, I'm going to do that. So this is the toughest business strike. And then I have in here now, don't say anything weird, folks. From 79 on to 83, they struck them only in proof. Only in proof. These here, these numbers here are incorrect because many new numismatists are saying, nope, if it's in parentheses, that's the number that was struck in proof. And these are the business strikes, and then in parentheses, the proofs. This is wrong. Dansko screwed up on this. They don't have, there's no such thing as a business strike 79. And if you can show it to me, prove me wrong. But anyway, I saw this a few years back. This is an 82 proof. This is an impaired proof. That's why it's in this Dansko. It's impaired. Um, meaning it's an impaired proof. Meaning what does impaired proof means? It's been in circulation. That's simply what it means, impaired. Um, and when I saw this and I saw it at a dealer shop, again, a very well-respected dealer that I know offered this up to me at a very, very, very fair price. Um, I said, yeah, man. But eventually I want to get an official slapped proof trade dollar in PCGS NGC um, and then get my 78 CC, the king of the trade dollars is right there. Now, one thing I do want to talk to you folks real quick and help you out is this: these coins are highly, highly counterfeited. You have to be very, very, very careful. Okay, and these are the these are the die marriages that have to exist. And I'm going to show you what it means by type one and type two, obverse, reverse, and all that. And many, many years ago, when I was getting into this set, you know how they say, buy the book before you buy the coin? 
In other words, know your coin. When you're getting ready to spend good money on a tough coin or a tough series, study, read it up. Okay? So get a look at this. Screenshot this. You folks are welcome to capture this and print it out. And then this is what it is here. On the See, T1 means type 1. The tip of the bottom arrows ends between the 2 and the 0 of the 420 eagle's wing, and it does not touch the shaft. So these are the appropriate dimeritis that have to exist. From the obverse to the reverse. Type 1 obverse and the type 2 obverse. There's only one type 1 and one type 2, but the marriages, the dimeritis, have to be exact as it is here. And if it's not... If your trade dollar does not have this correct, die, hasn't the correct die marriage, it's a counterfeit. Done. It's not real. Plain and simple. These are the die marriages that have to exist for these beautiful historical coins from our country. Okay? So if you have any questions about these beautiful coins, and these are the mintages that Dansko puts in. So, all right, my folks. I uh, wanted to tell you about this sweet album that I'm very proud of. And um, in my typeset, this is my 77S. And this one is, this 77S is a little bit sharper. Well, not little, quite a bit uh, better uh, than my one in my trade dollar album. But I wanted to put really, really high, good specimens um, in this set. Um, so that's why this beautiful lady is in here versus in here. Yeah, here it is. Oh, 77 S. That's an S. And here's my 77 S here. See, this one's cleaned long ago. It's starting to get toning back. But you can tell underneath that it has been cleaned versus this is original. This is original. This is an XF. Beautiful coin. All right, all right my friends. Um, you all have a blessed evening. Be kind to each other. Um, and thank you for watching. And if you have any questions, um, please leave them below. Um, and I will try to uh, answer them for you. And this is Dansko 6172 trade dollars. Okay. I think that's it. I need to put this back into the safe. So <laughs> you all have a wonderful, blessed evening. God bless. And thanks for watching.